Here is a brief comparative analysis of cooperative societies and capital companies. Focus. Cooperatives are societies of people who join together to provide themselves with a particular service or own their own business. Trading companies are capital companies. The priority is to have power and make a profit. The core component of their actions and organization is capital. Ownership. In cooperative societies, the ownership is collective. A cooperative is an undivided society that cannot be sold. Each member has the right to one vote. Capital companies belong to the shareholders and there is the possibility to buy all the shares and become the owner of the company. Authority. In cooperatives, the authority is held by the members, democratic. Leadership cannot be assumed by a single person and must be shared, which has enabled cooperatives to withstand the current economic crisis and perform better. In other corporate models, the authority is held by whoever holds the majority of the capital. It is a hierarchical approach to governance structure and decision-making predominates in capitalist companies. Capital. Businesses cannot function without capital and cooperatives are no exception. In cooperative societies, capital is a tool to provide service to the members. They require specific mechanisms that allow for a comprehensive and robust capitalization strategy while preserving member control. In capital companies, the objective is to maximize capital, and all decisions taken are to achieve the capital objectives. Distribution of profits, surpluses, or results. In cooperatives, it is distributed according to the participation in the cooperative activity, giving priority to personal productive effort. There is also an obligation to keep part of the surplus as reserve funds and for education. In capital companies, profits are distributed according to the number of shares held by each partner or shareholder. The amount of the investment made takes precedence. In summary, in cooperation, the primary objective is the satisfaction of the aspirations and needs of the members. Members approach an agri-food cooperative to buy the inputs or services needed for production and to sell produce and livestock. By joining, they have the security of a commercial and financial relationship and access to the surplus according to their activity, as well as a voice in the decision-making process. However, it should be noted that this will not be achieved in the long term if there are no profits, 